When you feel like giving up, don't. When you thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on man, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them man, don't believe them. You got to be relentless. Nobody can do this but you. The moment you raise your hand and says, I'm going to do something, I can guarantee you that somebody's not going to agree with what you're going to do. Somebody's not going to be supportive of what you're trying to do. Somebody's going to try to assassinate what you're trying to do. And yet you have to have the commitment and the calling and the tenacity and the character to be able to withstand the onslaught that comes against you in order to proceed toward your destiny and toward your purpose. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else, I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free no matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. And that's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. How did Joseph survive in what others drowned in? Effort. Effort comes before excellence. When Joseph was on his knees scrubbing Potiphar's floors, God was standing over him and he says, I know this doesn't look like much, Joseph, but I promise you, you're closer to the breakthrough than you've ever been before. As a child of God, be a person of excellence. You need to start living your life every single day and be blessed and be thankful and be strong and walk with power and walk with faith. This is it. This is the time to recognize your potential, your truth, everything about you is beautiful. Recognize your purpose in this world.